Okay. So before we figured out the circumference, which is this area around the circle, okay? And then yesterday we figured out the area of triangles, and the day before the area of parallelograms, and we found out that they're the amount of squared units that fill up the, this inside of this shape here, it's the squared units. Now, that's very easy with a rectangle or a square because they're, they're, it's already the right shape. But you notice with triangles, we had some decimals in there because the shape of it's not the same as a square unit. And this one, look at all, this round, all these rounded edges. Okay, You're going to have decimals on this one. And you're going to have to use pi, which we know pi from when we used our um, when we had used the formula to find the circumference. So what you need to find the area of a circle is you need pi and you need the radius. Who can raise their hand and tell me what the radius is? What's the radius of a circle? Catherine? The line that goes straight down the middle. Close. That's the diameter. Half the diameter. Half the diameter. It's the line that goes from the center of the circle out to the side. This is R, or the radius. Okay? Uh, I think this is, I should probably move it to like right there. Okay? That's the radius of the circle. It goes from the, the middle of the circle all the way out to the side. Now, our formula, you need to write this in your notebook. Hopefully you guys have your notebook. Get your notebooks out. Your notebooks out. Thank you, McKenna. Thank you, Samantha and Keely, for having those notebooks out. Good. The area of a circle is pi r squared. Write this down. You need this for your homework. Don't go home without your math notebook and then forget to do something like square it or divide it by two if we're finding the area of a triangle, okay? So right there. Area equals pi r squared. All right. Hope you guys have written that down. And you might think, well, okay, I see that, but what does it mean? Okay, I'm going to substitute this, a number for this radius here, okay? So let's say the radius of my circle is 4. Okay? So let's say I took, I put a push pin in my paper right here at the middle, I made a string four inches long, tied a pencil to the end, and I made a circle by going all the way around that push pin, right? So how many square units are inside here? So first thing is I'm going to take pi. What is pi? What, what decimal do we usually use as pi? And we're going to use it today as well. It's in your book. Yeah, 3.14. So my area equals 3.14. And then r squared. 4 squared. Okay. Now, I know from order of operations, I don't have to do anything inside my parentheses yet. But I know after that, I have to do my exponents, don't I? Okay, so I know that my area now equals 3.14 times, what's 4 squared? It's 4 squared. Yeah, it's 16. Okay, got to multiply those two together now. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to go 3.14 times 16. 6 times 4 is 24. 6 times 1 is 6, plus 2 is 8. 6 times 3 is 18. Then I'm going to cross this out because I don't need it right now. Put my 0 to hold its place. 1 times 4 is 4. 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times 3 is 3. Add them all up. 4 plus 0 is 4. 8 times plus 4 is 12. 
1 plus 8 plus 1 is 10. And 1 plus 1 plus 3 is 5. Now I'm not done. I have to look at my decimals now. And since I, I have decimals 1, 2, and no decimals down here, I have to go 1, 2, and put it right there. Okay? So the area of my circle... That. But the area of my circle is 50.24 square units. See, it's going to be a decimal. You're going to get a decimal all the time. Okay? Now remember, the R is the radius. The first thing, and then pi is going to be 3.14. Now remember, first thing we have to do is that exponent. So we have to square that radius or multiply it by itself first. Okay? So I'm going to give you a different kind of problem. This is if they just give you the radius, and that's awesome. That is, they just give you the radius, that's the best news ever. But sometimes they're not going to give you the radius. They'll give you the diameter. No lie, Catherine said earlier, the diameter is the line that goes, actually, I don't think it's the center, though. We'll say like that. Okay. The diameter is the line that goes all the way through the circle and make sure that it goes through the middle, okay? The center of it. So let's say my diameter is 10. But I need to find. Okay, actually I'm gonna write that that's just D equals 10. But I need to find the area of my circle. Okay, you should have written this down in your notebook. So what is the formula for the area of a circle? A equals pi r. Pi r. We're forgetting one thing. Square. square. Yeah, you have to square that radius. Okay. And d equals 10. Hmm. I have a D, but I need an R. Is there a way I can figure that out, Emily? You could just make it 5 and 10. Yes. I mean, why would I make it half of 10? Because the radius is half of the Yeah, the radius is half of the diameter. So instead of having D equals 10, I can just make that R5 because half of 10 is 5. So that leaves me with... A equals pi times 5 squared. And what are we going to use for pi? 3.14. Yeah, 3.14. A equals 3.14 times 5 squared. What do I do first? I have this problem now. I've substituted all my numbers in. I've substituted in my pi. I've substituted in my number for my radius. What do I have to do now, Annalise? Um, you have to do your uh, exponent. Exponent. There's nothing in the in the parentheses for me to do. So I have to do my exponent. So what is, what is it going to be? 25. So I'm going to say that A equals 3.14 times 25. Now this is the part that, you know, you're actually going to have to, Write it out and use some decimals. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna put it right here. 3.14 times 25. 5 times 4 is 20. 5 times 1 is 5 plus 2 is 7. 5 times 3 is 15. Put my zero to hold its place. 2 times 4 is 8. Cross X, I don't need it anymore. 2 times 2 is 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 3 is 6. I'm going to add them all up. 0 plus 0 is 0. 8 plus 7 is 15. 1 plus 5 is 6 plus 2 is 8. 1 plus 6 is 7. And I know that using my decimal rules, I count to see how many decimal places are there. Have the, have the, has the decimal been moved over on both numbers? 1, 2, 
and none here, so I go over one, two, put it right here, 78.5 square units, okay? Remember, you don't have to put the zero at the end of a decimal, okay? So, sometimes you're going to get problems where they give you the diameter. Sometimes you're going to get problems where they give you the radius. Just remember, pi r squared. We know how to get the radius from the diameter. And we know that we need to do our exponent first before we multiply. And unfortunately, almost every single time we do the area of a circle, you're going to get a decimal. Sorry about that. Okay? All right.